In this video, part of a brand new series from Adjuster TV called The Rules for Adjusting, I'll cover rule number two, where you'll learn just how important building relationships is for your career and how to do it, starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. Rule number two, build relationships. Believe it or not, but your claims career is all about people not about how good your estimates are or how fast you are. And while those things are also important, if you can't be a good human and be pleasant to be around and work with, you probably won't go very far in this work. And that goes for your IA firm and the carriers you work for at least as much as it does when you're working with the insured and their contractor. It really is kind of a people person job. Now there are those who say that this kind of thing cannot be taught, but I don't buy that. I absolutely think it can, and not only that, I think it's a critical skill for your success as an adjuster, or honestly, really any other role you take on in this industry and any other industry for that matter. So what do I mean by build relationships? In a nutshell, it means getting to know the people at the firms you work for and want to work for and making yourself indispensable to them. You want them to want to call you and keep you busy. If you're wanting to be a successful property or auto IA, you need to understand that this is a very tight knit community. You definitely will have noticed this if you've attended the NACA convention held every January in Vegas. The same people are there every single year and even though they're working for competing firms, they're all smiling and having fun and going out to dinners together and so forth. You may also notice if you attend more than one NACA convention that people switch companies. So the lady who was the director of operations at firm A last year is now the VP of shared services at firm B this year. Did you get to know this lady last year? Were you nice to her? Did you overcome your fear of networking? She's at a different company now, and if she knows you, then there's your in at firm B. So building relationships starts with networking. You've gotta attend networking events like the NACA convention and all the IA firm conferences, meet and greets, trainings, and carrier certifications that you can. Be friendly, be present, and don't be afraid to walk up and introduce yourself. The reason any of these events exist at all is so that they can find you. Once you've started getting work, the relationship building is just getting started. The key thing to remember is that you're there to serve the industry. Yes, this career can be and usually is very rewarding, but it starts with adopting a posture of service and being ready and more than willing to take on any assignment, big or small, near or far, that your IA firm needs you to, and to do it with a smile. Here's a prime example of how this works. Say you live in Dallas and you get a call from your team lead who says, hey, listen, I got one here that's uh, starting to go a little sideways. It's about a four hour drive one way from you. But the last three people I called turned it down. I'm starting to get a little bit desperate. Unfortunately, I can't give you mileage on this one either. Sorry about that. This is a totally messed up situation. Can you help me out and take this claim? Sounds like a garbage claim, doesn't it? What well, it is. A person who is only thinking about themselves, a person who listens to the people on social media who tell you that you always have to think about the money first or you're going to get screwed, a person who says, I won't take any claim outside of 12 miles from my house without getting mileage. Those people are going to turn this claim down. But if you're a selfless person, a person who is playing the long game, a person who is there to help first, a person who understands the value in maintaining and building this relationship with this firm, who understands that while this particular claim might suck, the guy who's dispatching it also knows that, that person says without hesitation and with a smile, yes, no problem, send it over and I'll take care of it before the end of the week. You make no mention of how you're gonna get paid, mileage, none of that stuff. You just take the claim and you get it done. It doesn't even matter if you lose money on it. That is not 
the point. You just made that team lead's day and more importantly, you moved up the roster. That manager who gave you what you both know is an awful claim is now in your debt and will be looking for ways to reward you for helping him or her out. And I'll say it again, this is people person work. You're helping people when you take the garbage claims, right? Doesn't matter why that claim became a garbage claim, doesn't matter whose fault it is, you don't care. The only thing you care about is that you eased your manager's workload a little bit by helping him out with a huge problem. Your long-term reward is that you've demonstrated that you're a resource that they can count on. It could be said that if you say yes once, then they're always gonna send you the garbage claims. And I think it's debatable whether that really happens. But even if it is true, if I really wanna move up the ranks at that firm, heck yes, I'm gonna say yes with a smile every single time. It's a little bit like the CEO who starts at a company cleaning the toilets. He has served that company at every level and even though he'll never be asked to clean toilets there again, he's probably gonna do it if he's the only guy available to do it. Just as a total aside, the best leaders are the ones who serve their customers and employees, not the other way around. Cultivate the mindset of service, always be building those relationships, and the rewards will flow to you. More than that, you'll have built an incredibly solid foundation of character that people can see a mile away. Because of this, you'll start to get a reputation among the different firms. Remember how people are always moving between companies? Which means that opportunities are going to start to come your way. So if you got a little bit of value from this video, please subscribe to Adjuster TV and hit the old like button. Believe it or not, those things really help Adjuster TV grow. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again?